Okay, very good. Hello, hello.
Are we ready for the class? Hello, yes. teacher. Hello, how are you today? Good. Ready for the class? Ready, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay, excellent. Glad to hear that. that. Glad to hear that we are all ready for the class. Today is week number three. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Llegamos a la semana tres, chicos. Hoy empezamos la semana tres. Bien hecho. Vamos bien. Very good job. And let's see. Let's continue. Let's work together with my video. Let's start my video here. Uy, no me miro, no me miro. Pero... There we are. Okay. Very good. Now, we're going to start with today's class. Since we are working with a simple present, right? That was the last topic we worked with, simple present. And we're supposed to continue working with that, with occupations. And on, sorry, on Friday, I gave you some occupations that you needed to work with, right? New vocabulary that we practice. So let me remember here the vocabulary, please. Pedrina. Pedrina, tell me one word that you remember, one occupation that you remember de las nuevas que practicamos el viernes. Pedrina. <laughs> no, Pedrina. Soy el chistoso otra vez. No, 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 apáguelo. <laughs> <laughs> ok, Nelson. <laughs> Oiga, pues. Nelson. Te, yes. Tell us one word that you remember, one occupation that you remember from last class. Um, a doctor. Um... <laughs> a doctor. Ok. Yes. Where, where does a doctor work, Nelson? Um, where does a doctor work? Is a uh, work. He works. He, he works. works. Yes. He works a hospital. He works in a hospital. Okay. He works in a hospital. Okay. Very good. Now let's see Claudia. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Where? Yeah. Okay. Claudia, tell me one word that you remember, one occupation. Uh, cashier. Cashier. Where does a cashier work? A cashier works in a bank. In a bank, okay. A cashier works in a bank. Very good. Very good work. Leida, one word that you remember? Mm. Over my cuaderno. <laughs> yes, yes. You can look at your book. It's okay. Electrician. Electrician, okay. Where does an electrician work? Uh, work in a work. He works or she works. He, he works in my house. Okay, he works in your house. Very good. Uh, let's see. No, Francis was sick. Ricardo, one more. One more vocabulary word. Le escucho. No sé si es mi compu. Es su compu. Yo lo escucho bien. Ustedes escuchan a Ricardo, sí, verdad? Sí. Yo lo escucho, Ricardo. Eh. Okay. Eh, don't worry. Let's see, Juan Josué. One last word. Juan Josué. 
One Hola. word from Friday. Sí. One word from Friday, vocabulary. Okay. Uh, uh, bellhop. Bellhop, excellent. Bellhop. Yes. Where does a bellhop work? Um, bellhop works in a hotel. In a hotel, very good, in a hotel. Excellent, in a hotel. Okay, very good. So today, let me show you here my computer because like I said, this is week number three, right? And this is video conferencia numero 11, right? And we have unit three to work with. We have competency number one, right? Competency number one, describe the different departments in your workplace and what they do. Number two, ask questions about someone else's duties at the workplace. Number three, ask for and say the time of activities our, at our workplace. And number four, tell different people the specific time and days of activities I do in my workplace. Those are all the things that we are going to do. Eso es todo lo que vamos a hacer en el, en la unidad 3, ¿ok? Vamos a hablar de los departamentos que existen en nuestro empleo. Because you have human resources, you have sales, you have marketing, you, many departments, right? We are going to talk about the activities that we do, right? Again, we're going to talk about the activities that we do and that our co-workers do, right? Las que ustedes hacen y la, las que sus co-workers hacen también en la misma compañía. First, we are going to continue working with some exercises. Vamos a terminar unos ejercicios que tenemos pendientes porque, ¿verdad? Tenemos que ya ahorita mismo. And then we're going to continue with the rest, okay? Now, let me show you my computer here. Okay. Here I have this activity. This activity is on your, on your book. Right? It says, read the information about each person's activities at the workplace. This is on page 23, in la página 23, right, of your book, page 23. And we have Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. This is one group. Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto is group number two, okay? Group number one. Group number two. Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda. What do they do? Eh, Francis, can you read this vocabulary? Vamos a leerlo aunque no sepamos. Vamos a intentar pronunciar el vocabulary, ¿ok? Do. Read this vocabulary, Francis. Ok. Uh -huh. Y... Create software. Uh -huh. Repair computer. Install antivirus. Very good. Very good. Now, create software. Repair software. computers. Install antivirus. Very good, Francis. Very good. Uh, let's see. Read. This part, Emerson, don't. Sorry, teacher. Read this part, don't. Okay. Don't sell computer programs, exchange information about programs. Excellent job. Don't sell computer programs. Don't exchange information about programs. Very good. Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto. Do. Read please, Mr. Palma. Keep track. 
Hello, teacher. Here. Keep, keep track on day and on that cell. Mm -hmm. Or with new merchants. Okay, very good. Keep track on the sales. Esta, esta palabra me la van a corregir todos ahorita. Esta palabra está mala. Vamos a escribir S A L E S. Esa es la palabra correcta. Yo se la voy a poner aquí a la par. Sales. Yes. Así. Esa es la palabra correcta. Sales. Keep track on the sales. Esa es. ¿Ok? Corrijámoslo todos porque está mala, porque acá le han puesto el verbo y nosotros queremos usar el sustantivo, no el verbo. Keep track on the sales. Write reports by new merchandise. Ok. Now, answer, uh, please read for me, Norma Carolina. Don't. Don't. Norma. Norma. Okay, Asalia, can you please read this part? Don't. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Don't receive money from from self. Uh -huh. Decide decide what to buy. Decide what to buy. Okay, very good. Aquí vamos a hacer lo mismo, cambiamos la palabra sales por la palabra correcta, ¿verdad? Que es sales, 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 ¿ok? Esa es la palabra correcta. Now, receive money from sales, decide what to buy. Now, we have the activities that they do and the activities that they, mm -mm, they don't do. Right, this is on your book. Right, this is on your book. Now, let me show you here the questions that we are going to answer. We have questions, these questions are about what you just read. Estas preguntas son de lo que acabamos de leer. Por ejemplo, dice acá: Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Hmm, what is the answer? Look at your book. Vean su libro y me contestan. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? What do you yes. think? Yes. They do. Yes. Yes. They do. They do. They, yes. They do. Uh, espérame que yes, lo dejé en blanco. Do. Lo dejamos en blanco. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Yes, they do. Mm. Are you sure? ¿Ya leyeron bien? Are you sure? Ok. Let's continue with this number two. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Yes, no. they do. Yes or no? No. No. No, no they no. don't. They don't. No, they don't. Let's go no. here. Let's see here. Don't. Sell computer programs. Don't. Mm -hmm. They install antivirus. They don't sell it. Okay, Stop. very good. No, they Stop. don't. Okay, let's put the answer. No. Comma. They don't. Very good. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. This one. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No. No, they don't. Uh -huh. no, Read carefully. They don't. No, they don't? Are no, you they sure? Don't. No, they don't. No, no. they don't. No, they, oh, they don't. Okay. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes. Yes. Yes, they, they do. do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. 
Estoy confiando sí. en ustedes porque no lo tengo aquí. Ustedes están leyendo. Right? Yes, they do. Do Ricardo and Max repair computers? Do Ricardo no. and Max repair computers? No, they don't. No, no they no. don't. Very good. No, they don't. Okay. And la cuatro, número cuatro de la cuatro. Do Neida and Nelly install programs? Yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yes, they yeah. do. Very good. Very good. Please copy the answers on your book. Copy the answers on your book. Very good. Copy the answers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Now, if you finish, todos terminaron. Puedo seguir con el siguiente ejercicio. Yes. 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 Pedrina, Sandra, Nancy. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue right here. In the next exercise. Yes, 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 yes. Right now. That's Pedrina making fun of me again. Pedrina es para que se rían de mí. Okay. Pedrina, arregle el micrófono. <laughs> y después que se lo quite y lo vuelve a poner. Ok. Let me call the attendance right now. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Angie. Angie. Not here. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Claudia Janet Ramos de Hernández. Present, teacher. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present teacher. Eneida Jasmine Hernández Cruz. Eneida Jasmine Hernández Cruz. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present teacher. Franco Damián Vázquez. Thank you, Francis. Present teacher. Thank you, Franco. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Leida Susana Sorto. Present. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Present, teacher. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present, teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. <laughs> Thank you, Pedrina. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Jennifer. And José Alfonso Palma. Present teacher. Ok. Very good. So I think I mentioned, hoy no, lo, no olvida a nadie, ¿verdad? No. A mí, a mí. Sí, lo mencioné. No. No. Ricardo, Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So we go with the next exercise. So let's be ready. Today, today is Monday. Es lunes, así que vamos a trabajar de más, okay? Vamos a trabajar un poquito más ahora. Let's be ready. In this case, we have, we have an exercise on page 26. En la misma página 26 tenemos otro ejercicio. Okay? We have an exercise on page 26. This exercise, eh, Josué, can you please read the instruction? Create. Create a question based on the answer. Okay, we are going to create a question based on the answer. For example, for example, 
If I say, my name is Sylvia, what is the question? What's your name? Excellent job. What's your name? Very good. So we are going to do the same with the exercise. For example, here in the exercise, the question is, the answer is, sorry. The answer is, yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. That's the answer. So we have to create a question that says, does he fix the AC on Friday? Right? Now we are going to create, look at this, yes and no answers. Okay? Now, what do you think number two would be? It says, yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. What do you think the question could be? Let's think about the question. Does she send many emails to the customer? Very good. Does she send many emails to customers? Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Very good. So let's, let's get to work. Let's get to work. This work is individual work, individual work that we are going to do. Remember, you will create a question based on the answer. Okay. Con base en la respuesta que se les está dando, van a crear la pregunta. Is that clear? Yes? Okay. Any questions? Alguna pregunta? No. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Page 26. Two, six, twenty-six. ¿Le encontró Mr. Palma? Página 26. Yes, teacher. Okay, very yes, good. Teacher. Excellent, excellent. Let's do it. Esto ya solo es práctica de lo yes, que hicimos la semana pasada. I know you can do it. Did you finish, Abidail? Almost, almost. Okay, very good. <laughs> Let's do it. Did you finish? Yes, no yet? Ya terminaron, sí, Ricardo, you finished, very good. Yes, I finished. Very good. Finish, teacher. Juan Josué, very good. Franco? Yes, I finished. Okay. Now we're going to, oh, sorry. Okay, let's continue here. <clears throat> and let's see the answers, okay? First, second answer, Ricardo, then Juan Josue. 
Tell me the answers and I'm going to put the answers and everyone check if it's correct, okay? Check if it's correct. Number two, Ricardo, three, Josue, and four, Franco. What's your question? Tell me. Okay. Uh, does she send many emails to customer? Okay. Very good. Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Very good. Excellent answer. Now, number three, Josue. Does she clean the fields flow only? Very good. Does she clean the first fields flow? Okay, pronunciation, Josue. First floor. floor. Okay, first. First. Very good. Excellent. Franco, number four. Does he keep track on the cell? Very good. Does he keep? Does. Does he keep track on the cell? On the sales. Uy, cambiamos sales, acordémonos. On the sales. Yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the sales. Very good. Very good. So these are the answers. I want to know, please, if you have a question about the answers. Any questions? Alguien tiene una duda de cómo están escritas esas preguntas? Algo que no hayan entendido, please, let me know right now. Yo solo no entiendo la tres. La número tres, ok. Let me see. Yo Why? Igual. Does she claim the first? No, she doesn't. La tres. She claims the... Oh, the thing is that we can make, for example, uh, <coughs> does she clean... In this case, she cleans the first floor only. That's the answer, right? Does she clean? We can say, does she clean the whole building? Right? It would be better. Does she clean the whole building? Or do you remember what building means? ¿Se recuerdan qué significa building? La semana pasada les dije. Edificio. Okay. Okay. We can put this one better. Does she clean the building? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Así lo vamos a dejar mejor. Josué, cámbialo. Ella limpia todo el edificio. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. First, solamente se encarga de un piso, no de todos. Right? Así nos queda mejor. Or we can say, does she clean... The first and second floor, for example. Otra opción. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Only significa que es una única opción. Ok, solamente hay una opción. Por ejemplo, yo les puedo preguntar, do you, do you drink tea and coffee? No. I don't, I only drink coffee, right? I only drink coffee. Entonces, esta palabra only nos está limitando a que digamos solamente una opción de todas las respuestas, okay? Now, is it clear now? A little bit more? Azalia, Nelson? ¿Se entiende un poquito más la pregunta? Yes. Yes? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your questions. Another one? Otra pregunta? Antes que nos movamos al siguiente ejercicio. Ahorita estamos sí, sí. practicando lo de lo que aprendimos la semana pasada, chicos, con el do y el das. Mm. Yes. En, la cuatro, en la cuatro también. Ajá. Ok. Uh, porque, o sea, como allí dice la respuesta, 
Costa, o sea, y dice Eric, o sea, ahí está el nombre. Ajá, yes. Oh, ok, very good. This is what happens. Ok, in English, in English, we are going to use right here. Let me put here the whiteboard for a moment. I will show you. Can you see my screen? White? ¿Pueden ver la pantalla blanca? Yes. Ok, very good. Ok, if I say, for example, like this. Eric is a manager. Right? He supervises the sales. Right? Eric is a manager. Eric supervises the sales. Eric, Eric keeps track on the sales. Eric reports the sales to his boss, right? That is going to be the information about Eric. ¿Qué pueden notar ustedes en esta descripción que estoy haciendo de Eric? ¿Qué ven ustedes? Según tú se repite su nombre. Exactly, exactly. Very good. There is too many repetition. There is a lot of repetition here. Eric, 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 right? So in English, we don't do that, okay? In English, we know that Eric is a he, okay? Aquí, en este caso, que estamos hablando de inglés, para aclarar con, con cosas de inclusión y todo lo demás, eh, vamos a, a, a aprender inglés usando he and she, okay? Así hay personas que se cambian su, su, su género y es mujer y se dice he, eso ahorita no. Okay, vamos a, a si es que es cierto, vamos a basarnos con, grama, con la gramática simple. Okay, hombre, he, mujer, she, para que nosotros entendamos más rápido. Entonces, we know that Eric is a he, right? Este es un nombre de hombre, digamos. Entonces, como sabemos que es un he, English grammar asks us to make the changes, right? So we are going to say, Eric is a manager. He supervises the cell. He keeps track on sales. He reports the sales to his boss. Aún aquí tenemos un poco de repetición. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? And reports the sales to his boss, right? Podemos aún quitar un he y que se nos queden solamente dos. Entonces, aquí a Salia, en la pregunta que tenemos número cuatro, podemos decir, Eric keeps track on the cells porque ya nos hemos referido a él anteriormente para usar un nombre. Quiere decir que podemos intercambiar entre she and he con un nombre. Si digo Ricardo... Es Spanish, teacher, no repetir mucho. Exactly. Igual en no. el español, o sea... Uh -huh, exactly. Por ejemplo, si digo... Si digo Azalia, es she. Si digo Ricardo, he. Franco, he. Francis, he. And so on. ¿Ok? ¿Is that clear? ¿Se entiende esta parte? ¿Azalia? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes. Ok. Si no, si no me doy a entender, please let me know. Dígame. Si no me entienden, dígame. Ok. Do you have more... Ajá. Go ahead, Azalia, and then Sandra. Ok. Mi pregunta era porque eh, como según lo que estaba escrito ahí, había que hacer la pregunta. Ah, tanto, sí, pero sí. en este caso podemos solamente poner y, y no hay ningún ah, okay. problema. O sea, lo, uh, a lo que me quiero yo referir. Había puesto, yo había puesto Eric. Das uh -huh. Eric. Y, y entonces por eso fue mi duda. Uh -huh. Sí, podemos hacer acá la, el, el cambio sin ningún problema. Eric, y como sabemos que Eric es un he, aquí podemos decir das he. Sin ningún okay. problema y no cambia el significado. Muy buena okay. pregunta, Sale. Okay. Sandra. Gracias. Mi pregunta es, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre él, el que está apareciendo en el libro, y Sale? Y, 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 ok. Sales, esta, esta palabra, Sandra, se pronuncia sales. Sales, ¿ok? Sales, ¿o cómo? 
No, no se dice sales, se dice sales. No, así se escribe y se pronuncia sales. Ah, exactly. Okay. La diferencia, Ajá. la diferencia es que el libro tiene un error, que el libro le han puesto sales, pero ese sales que le han puesto que está así es vender en tercera persona del singular, entonces está malo. Porque es el verbo. Y nosotros acá no queremos utilizar verbo. Queremos utilizar el sustantivo. Ah, ¿En qué momento vamos a usar verbo y en qué momento vamos a usar sustantivo? Esta es la vamos, a, la... vamos a utilizar el verbo cuando nos estemos refiriendo a una acción. Y el sustantivo cuando nos estemos refiriendo a una cosa. ¿Mm? Por ejemplo, Ricardo sells a lot of sales during the month. Ricardo vende muchas ventas en la semana o hace muchas ventas en la semana. Right? We can say, Ricardo, el aquí, compañero de ustedes. Yo me acuerdo que dijo que era sales. Okay. Ricardo, Ricardo keeps track on the sales. He sells computers every month. Ok. Entonces, en la primera. Aquí, y vamos a vernos, vamos a ver la pizarra de nuevo. Lo puede escribir para. Yes, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Thank you. Ahorita mismo. Ok. Ricardo is a sales manager. Right? He supervises the sales from his company. Right? Okay. Okay. His his co-workers his co-worker sells a lot of computers every week. Okay? Ricardo is a sales manager. Aquí lo estamos usando como un noun, como un sustantivo. Like a noun. He supervises the sales, como un sustantivo de nuevo, from his company. His co-worker sells a lot of computers, that's a verb. Cuando estamos diciendo qué hace, qué es una acción, entonces vamos a utilizar el verbo. ¿Ok? No es lo mismo sales entonces, acá. Al revés. entonces yo lo tengo al revés. Sale, usted es el sustantivo, entonces. Sí, sales, sales, sale, ya estoy diciendo sales por usted, mire. <risa> sales is a noun, is a sustantivo, is a noun, this is a noun. Okay. Right, and this is a verb, this is a verb, sales. Sales, sales, entonces es el, el verbo. Mm -hmm. Like this, sales. Noun, sell, verb, simple, right? Sells a noun and sell a verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Aquí le han puesto la S porque está con third person singular y así se lo pusieron allá. Es un error que a alguien se le fue ahí chisputeado, ¿verdad? Por eso se le fue ese error. Yes, Ricardo. Eso aplica con todos los verbos, vea, no solamente con este, sino que en, eh, se va a ocupar el sustantivo eh, cuando sea otro verbo el principal de la oración. Por ejemplo, en la primera que dice Ricardo is a sales manager, el verbo es is, eh, ¿verdad? Yes, the verb is is, is. And the second sentence, he supervises the sales from his company. The verb is supervises. Mm -hmm. Ahí cada, cada oración tiene su verbo. Recuérdense el orden de la oración. Subject, verb, complement. Ese es el, 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 el orden que tenemos. Subject, verb, company. En la tercera oración, ¿cuál es el subject? His co-worker. Right? His co-worker. If we put... Uh -huh. His coworker. El verbo sells. Complement 
a lot of computer every week. Right? Subject, verb, and complement. It's, it's, it goes the same with Ricardo. Ricardo is the subject. Right. <coughs> Ricardo is the subject. The verb is is. And the complement is a sales manager. Right? ¿Se entiende esa parte? Claro, como el horchata que ven en el centro. No, pero en serio, ¿se entiende o no se entiende? Así explicamos de nuevo. Yes. Yes. No, Pedrín, es imposible que la entendamos. Con ese grillo, no. Con esa ardilla que tiene ahí, no. Ok. Do you have more questions? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Preguntemos, porfa. Si no, no dormimos todos. Preguntemos. No preguntas. Ok. Let's continue. Si no hay preguntas, vamos a continuar. No more questions. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Salia. For your questions, let's get to work. Now. We have another exercise here that I want you to do. This is an exercise. No, let's not do this one. This is muy, muy, muy fregado. Okay. Let me show you here. We are going to create questions. Right now, we are going to create four questions, okay? Four questions using the auxiliary do and using the auxiliary does. And you are going to also write the answers, okay? Now, in the first part here, we I have does, does. What could be a question that I can write using does? What could be a question? Any question with the vocabulary that we have practiced? What could be a possible question? Does she make a cupcake? Okay. Does she make a cupcake? Un cakeito, niños. Un cupcake es un cakeito. Okay, un bollo, así, de los que venden en Pricemart. Does she make a cupcake? When? Give me more information. Deme más información, no solo eso. Does she make a cupcake? When? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening? For With dinner? With the party? Hmm? With the party? In the, for the party, okay? For the uh, party. For the party. For the party. Does she make a cupcake for the party? Answers. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. That's what we're going to do today. You are going to make a question. You are going to invent the question. Okay, and you're going to write the two short answers. Okay, that's what we're going to do. You are going to invent the question and you're going to write the two short answers. Esta no la inventamos acá, ahorita. Entonces ustedes van a hacer lo mismo con el vocabulario que hemos practicado, ¿ok? Y please ask questions. Si tienen alguna pregunta de vocabulario que no saben y quieren decirlo, está en español, vamos a ver cómo lo eh, investigamos ahorita, ¿ok? So let's, is, is it clear what we're doing right now? ¿Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo? ¿Es it clear? Yes. yes. ¿No? ¿Es it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, very good, very good. So let's continue then. Let's keep working. Let's do it. Voy a poner mute, fíjense, para que se concentre.
ask me questions. If you don't know what to write, si no saben el vocabulario o quieren decir algo y no saben, please ask questions. Si no las quieren preguntar en público, send me a chat. Aquí tenemos el chat, hay que aprovechar el chat también. ¿Ok? How do you say cell phone? How do you say celular? How do you say eh, una ocupación que no sepa? Una actividad, una... Algo, ok? If you don't know, let me know. Si no saben, digan. Pueden escribirme el chat si están tímidos este día. Did you finish? Ok, can we check the answers? ¿Ya terminaron? ¿Todavía no? ¿Estamos pensando? Hello, ¿hay alguien ahí? Yes, teacher, aquí estamos. Yes, I finished. Ok, very good. I see here two finished. questions in the chat. Ok. Yay. Yes, teacher, yes. Ok, thank you, Ricardo. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Angie. Okay, I think we can start here. We're going to do this activity in the speaking way. You are going to read your question and you are going to read your answer, okay? So let's start with Claudia. Okay, just give me one moment because I am going to put mute on the music because I hear, a lot. can you hear the music in the background? Pueden escuchar la música en el, en el fondo. No se escucha. ¿Sí se escucha? No. No, no se escucha. No. Ok. No. Si, no se, si no se escucha, estamos bien. Ok. Si no la escuchan, bien, porque yo la escucho. Pero si no la escuchan ustedes, mejor. No los quiero interrumpir. Ok. So let's start with Claudia. Claudia, read your question. Read one question with do. Using do. Do she got okay? The stop. Do now with us. Why do you say do she? Do she go? No, to the party. no, we don't use do and she together. Ah, Claudita, <laughs> one more time. 
Ah, ahí tenemos que dar un nombre. No. No, that's not the problem. The problem is, Claudia, that you are using, you are using do and she together. No utilizamos do para he or she. ¿Qué utilizamos para he or she, Claudia? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos? Yes. Uh -huh. No me recuerdo. Mm, 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 mm. Lo acabamos de ver, Claudia. We <risa> utilizamos das, Claudia. Ah, das. Ajá. Okay. Con do no utilizamos she and he. Okay. Listen to the answer of your classmates and take notes. Okay. Take notes. Eh, Ricardo. Tell me an, a question with do and the answers. Do. Mm -hmm. Do we have a money to buy gas? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Or no, we don't. Okay, very good. Pronunciation, Ricardo. Do we have money? Do we have money? Money. 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 Money, money. like money, money, money. Must be funny, right? Very good. Yes. Very good, Ricardo. Norma Carolina, read one question with do. No sé si la hice bien, pero la hice. Where do, you, where do you work? Oh, no. We are using only just no questions. Just no questions. Solamente preguntas con sí y con no. Todavía la WH la, ya la vamos a ver. No se me adelante. Ok, ya ya casi. Let's see. Escriba su, su, sus preguntas de nuevo, Norma. Sí. Ok. Nelson, one question with das. Does she make a phone call? Calls. Does she make a phone call? Okay. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Okay, very good. Now, let's be careful with the pronunciation of she. It's shh. Así. Shh. Shh. Porque si me dice chi, es como chicharra. Right? Chi. No. It's shh. Does she? Does she? Does she? Yes, she does. does no, she? she doesn't. Does she? Read again. Vuelvo a leer. Okay. Does she make phone calls? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Very good. Excellent job. I am going to read Nancy. Creo que está tímida este día, Nancy. Do I go to work every day? Yes, Nancy. It's correct. Do I go to work every day? Very good. Miss uh, Sandra and then Claudia. Okay, Sandra, with do. Do? Yes. Do you and Marixa cook dinner tomorrow? Okay, one more time. Yes, we come. Ah, otra vez. Otra vez. Do you and Marisa cook the dinner tomorrow? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Please delete the word tomorrow. Quítale la palabra mañana. Porque mañana es tomorrow is future. Ahorita estamos trabajando con el simple present. Quítale la palabra tomorrow. Tomorrow, no va a... Cook the dinner. Only. Cook the dinner, yeah. Cook okay. the dinner. Cook the dinner every day. Cook the dinner every night. Very good. Okay. Pero si le pone tomorrow, ya es el, el simple future. Y con simple future ocupamos otros tiempos verbales. Okay, very good. Claudia, with do. No sé si estará bien. Léala, léala. 
Démosle. Eh, do they listen electronic music? Do they listen to electronic music? Very good, Claudia. Answers? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Excellent job. Excellent job. Just remember, listen to. Listen to. Do they listen to electronic music? Do they listen to reggaeton? Do they listen to rock? Do they listen to bachata? Right? Do they listen to? Let's see, Asalia. Okay. Read your ans your questions. Do we exercise? Read that one, please. Asalia. Se las escribí, teacher, por si no me preguntaba. Read them, read them. Read the second one. Uh, what? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál sería? Do we? Do we exercise in the park? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Very good. Excellent job. Now, the other one, guys, is do you study English? Do you study English? That would be the correct answer, Asalia. Do you study do you English? Study English. Yes. yes. I do. do. No. Oh, yes, okay. I do. No, you don't. Okay. Okay, yes, let me do that. Okay, very good. Let's continue. You. You're welcome. Any questions about the use of do and does? Alguna pregunta, chicos, sobre el uso del do y el does? Do you exercise every day? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Very good, Leida. Very good. Just remember, todos, recordémonos que cuando decimos I, que usamos esta letra, I, es en mayúscula, toda la vida. Hoy, mañana, siempre, forever, every day, I es con mayúscula. Así vaya al inicio, al final, en medio, donde quiera que pongan esa palabra, yo, I, right? I, I, siempre va, ¿cómo dice? Siempre va en mayúsculas, ¿ok? Now, very good, thank you for your example, Leida. Any other questions, guys? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Hoy es cuándo? ¿No? Bueno. We are going to see here some information. This information is about possessives. Okay, and I want you to pay attention to this because it's a little bit difficult. Okay? It's just a little bit difficult. Do you remember possessive nouns? ¿Se recuerdan de los pronombres posesivos? No. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. This is yes. going to help us to talk about, okay, my, okay, that's an objective. Okay, very good. That's a possessive adjective. Right? Now. Okay, let's go ahead and I am going to explain to you this information. Right? Look at Look at the charge that we have. It's about the Carter family, okay? And we have here, I want you to look at number one. Let me put it bigger. Okay. Can you see the, the, the pictures? Yes? Can you see the pictures? Can you see the yes. pictures? Okay. Yes, thank yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Now, we have here number one. It says ants. Look at this is ants, right? We have ants right here. Ants is Paul's wife. Yes. Anne is Paul's wife, right? Now, we are going to learn right now vocabulary related to our family. For example, husband, husband, wife, wife, father, father, mother, mother, 
uh, father and mother. Cuando ellos tienen hijos, they are called parents. Parents. Father, mother, father, parents. Mother, mother, parents. Parent. Son, yeah. son. Son. Daughter. 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 Ellos juntos son children. 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 Brother. Brother. Sister. 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 Right? And names are Paul. Paul. And. And. Jason. 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 Emily. 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 Okay. Now let's repeat. Husband. Husband. Wife. 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 Father. Emily. Father. Mother. 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 Parents. 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 No parents. No. Parents. 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 Son. 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 Daughter. 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 Children. 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 Brother. Brother. Sister. 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 Very good. Now, that's the vocabulary that we are going to use. I might use it. Okay, no. Let's, let's pay attention here to what we are doing. It says, Anne is Paul's wife. So what we want to say is that Anne is the wife of Paul. Do you remember that? Anne is the wife of Paul. But in English, we're going to make it sound better. So we say Anne is Paul's wife, right? Anne is Paul's wife. Number two, Jason and Emily are their, their, their what? Brother. Their brother. Children. Parents. Parents. Children. Are their children. children. Very good. Children. Are their children. Are their children. Oh, I'm putting them in the hula. Are their children. Very good. They are their children. children. Very good. Now, let's pay attention. Paul. 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 Is Anne's. Parents. Son. Parents. Husband. Son. Husband. 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 Miren ahí, a la par de Paul no dice son. Oh, sí. Paul, yeah, husband. Yeah, yeah. And wife. The husband, yes. Okay, we are in number three. Yeah, yeah. Paul is Anne's husband. Let's go with number husband. four. <laughs> Jason. Jason is Anne's brother. Son. Brother. Song. 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 No brother. No brother. Okay. Primero fijémonos ah, en la imagen. Sí. Primero fijémonos en la imagen. Emily is Paul's. No. Daughter. Emily. Daughter. Huh? Daughter. 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 Very good. Daughter. Daughter. Very good. Juan Josué, you're doing great. Daughter. Daughter. Very good. Jason Emily. is Emily's brother. 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 Very good. Brother. Brother. Emily is Jason's sister. 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 Excellent. Sister. Paul and Anne are Jason's parents. What? Parents. Pa parents. 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 What is parents? Parents. 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 Very good. Pronunciation. Let's do our pronunciation. Parents. Parents. Very Parents. good. Very good. So these are like basic relationships in the family. Estas son como las relaciones más, más eh, básicas no. o primordiales. When we're talking about our family, right? When we talk about our family, we have a husband. A wife, father, mother, son, daughter, brother, and sister, right? Please, I would like you to please take a screenshot of this exercise so you can practice later this connection. These connections are very important. So please take a screenshot. Tome una captura de pantalla. Teacher, puede alejar un poco la pantalla. 
Eh, si la alejo, ya perdemos todas las respuestas. Mire, pues. Ah, pues ok. Sí. Van a quedar así, van a quedar movidas para atrás. Ok. Now, did you take the screenshot? ¿Ya tomaron la captura? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Now, what are we doing here? We're practicing vocabulary for the family because it's very important that we know how to say the relationships within our own family, right? Now, I am going to show you something here, right? Another exercise that we are going to do for ourselves, right? Para nosotros mismos, for ourselves, we are going to make a small description. And let me show you here. Asalia, can you please read the question? Read the question, Asalia. Lea la pregunta. Asalia. Sorry, teacher. What are the people in your family? Uh -huh. What are their names? What are their names? Very good. Who are the people in your family? What are their names? Very good. Excellent job. Now, in this case, I am going to give you my information, okay? My name is Silvia Ramos. My mom's name is Anna. Right? She, she is, she is, let me see. She is 53 years old. No es eso, no me acuerdo, no le van a decir que no me acuerde. Right? My sister's name, my sister's name is Sarita. Her son's name, her son's name is Mateo. He is four years old. Okay? This is information about my family. My husband's name. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mas, my husband's name is. Henry, se me trabó la compu, chicos. Vamos a ver un poquito. My husband's name is Henry. He is 34 years old. Right? And we finish. Now, what I want you to do, guys, is to write a very similar description about you and the people in their family and their names. Right? If you see this, this is a description that is very easy to write. Okay? So what could be an example of this, right? My name is Nelson. My mom's name is, she is, or you can say my father's name is, right? He is 50 years old, right? My mom's name is this, and you give more information about your family, right? Of course, right now, we only know mom, dad, husband, wife, parents, pero si quieren saber eh, otro miembro de la familia, podemos ver acá, ¿ok? Without no problem, we can see more information, right? Now, let's start, let's start writing our own descriptions. Vamos a escribir todas nuestras propias descripciones, así, bien cortitas, usando people in our family, right? And their names, and their age, ¿ok? People, las personas en la familia, sus nombres, sus edades, pueden decir también sus ocupaciones. Right? My, my mom's name. No. Ok. In a moment, eh, Nancy. My mom's name is Anna. She is 53 years old. She is a secretary, for example. Right? We put more information there. Right? And now, 
Uh, Nancy has a great question right now that I would like to answer. Just give me one more second. He is 34 years old, period. He is a freelance agent, for example. Now, Nancy está preguntando que si sisters con apóstrofe es más de una hermana. That's a very good question. And no. No, no Nancy. Sisters is the possessive, right? If you look at this, it says my sister's name. My sister's name. The name of my sister. And I use is. Remember that is is for singular, right? And I'm just talking about one person here. And her name is Sarita, right? So sister, if I want to put here, for example, este ya solo es para explicar, no lo voy a copiar. My sister's name are Sarita and Juanita, for example. ¿Cómo sabemos que está en plural? Porque aquí tenemos la, la, la S, la, el apóstrofe, después de la S no lo tenemos antes. Y estamos utilizando el verbo to be en plural, no en singular. ¿Es that clear? Nancy? Nancy, ¿es that clear? Ok, ok. Thank you, Nancy. Please copy the examples. And now let's write your own examples. Vamos a escribir sus ejemplos propios ahorita. Sus propios ejemplos. Mientras paso la asistencia rapidito que ya se empezaron 14 minutos. Give me a moment. Okay. Let's see here. Angela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Claudia Janet Ramos Hernández. Present teacher. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Emerson Javier. Emerson. Present teacher. Ok, pueden encender su cámara, Emerson, solo para la asistencia. Ahí está, ya lo Present. Vi. Hi, Emerson. Eneida Yasmín Hernández Cruz. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present teacher. Thank you, Francis. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present teacher. Está Franco, no lo miro. Ahí está. Very good. Okay, let's see here. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Leida Susana Sorto. Present. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Present. Nelson Brian Pereira Maraví. Present teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Present. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. I'm here. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. <laughs> Jennifer Abidaí López Escoto. A Jennifer. Allá al fondo se le oye. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. En José Alfonso Palma. Presentation. Ok, very good. Did you finish, did you finish your examples? Yes, teacher. Yes, I finished. Ok, very good. Let's see here. Teacher, ¿cuándo son más de un hijo? 
children. My chi the 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 names of okay. We're gonna put here my children's, children's name, name are Fulanito, Fulanito, Sutanito, and Menganito. <laughs> right? My children's name are. Yes, I did, Pedrina. Si mencioné Pedrina, ¿verdad? El audio es Pedrina, Ileana, Gon Ileana Gómez. <laughs> okay. Nancy, you have the answer. My children's name are Fulanito, Sutanito, and Menganito. Okay? My my name is Nancy Serrano. My mom's not. My mom's name. Gabby. She seven five years old. My sister is Claudia. Her her son is her son. Okay. And your is your okay. 32. 32, uh-huh. She is 32. 32. Okay, very good, excellent. Nancy, you did great, very good job. Very good job, Nancy. Sandra, Sandra seems like she wants to speak. Parece que quiere hablar, Sandra, vamos a oírla. Sandra, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name is Sandra, Sandra Mendez. Uh, my mom's name is Marta. She's uh, seven, eight years old. My sister's name is Lorena. Her son's name is Rodolfo. He is 20 years old. Excellent job, Sandra. Very good work. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Pedrina, no le sirve el audio, así que escríbalo en el chat, toda su información. Igual Jennifer Abidail, quiero ver. Jennifer Abidail, escriba sus respuestas en el chat. Pedrina, también. Ricardo Gabriel, give us your answers. And then Azalia, get ready. Después de, de, de Ricardo, va usted. Ricardo, go ahead. My name is Ricardo Alvarenga. My mom's name is Flor. She's a... Uh... 53 years old. She is 53, okay. My dad's name is Jose. He is 57 in English. 57. 57 years old. Mm -hmm. My sister's name is Esmeralda and my brother's name is Alejandro. He mm -hmm. is uh, 15 years old. He is 15 years old. Very good, Ricardo. Excellent job. Excellent job. Let's see, Asalia. Okay. My name is Asalia Portillo. Mm -hmm. I have to you. I have two little angels. Um, their names are Rafael. Is one four years old, and Ashley is one two years old. My mother is called. Margarita and my brother Carlos. Okay, very good. My mother, my mom, that's another option, guy. My mother is called Margarita, you said, right? Yes. Margarita, for example. My mother is called Anna, right? For example. My mother is called Margarita. Very good, very good, Asalia. Tell me your answers, Francis, and then get ready, Leida. Thank you. Enjoy your meal, Leida. Mastique ahorita que lo va a tocar. Francis, go ahead. Hello. My name is Francis Puerto. My mom's name is Marcos. She is uh, 78. 78. 78. Uh huh. 78 years old. My sister name, name, name is Iris. 
person's name is Moises. He is uh, 14. Is, is, uh, 14? 14 years old. Okay, very good. Excellent job, Francis. Leida. Okay. My name is Leida Sorto. My mom's name is Maria. Mm -hmm. She is uh, 52. Okay, 52. 52. Okay. 52. 52 year old. My father is Jose. He mm -hmm. is 59. 59, okay. 59 year old. Uh, my brother's name are Oscar and David. Okay, very good. They they are eleven year old okay. and twenty five year old. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now let's practice. Let's practice later a little bit. Old, old. Say it. Old. Old. Very good. Old. Very good. Now let's see. Mr. Palma and then Josue. Mr. Palma. Mr. Palma. Excuse me. Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. My name is, is Jose Palma. My mom name is Blanca. She is 48 years old. Mm -hmm. My brother is Peter. He is mm -hmm. 22 years old. Okay. That's it? Finish. Finish. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, Josue. Yeah, thank you. Okay, teacher. My name is Juan Josue. <clears throat> My mom's name is Elsie. She is 60 years old. My brother's name is Raul. He is 25 years old. My wife's name is Emily. She is 31 years old. 31 years old. Very good. We have Jennifer's information. My name is Jennifer. My name is Pedrina. Apaga el micrófono. My, my name is Jennifer Lopez. My mom's name is Veronica. She's 33 years old. My brothers are Julissa right, and Eliseo. They are 17 years old and 13 years old. Okay? Change it. Very good. Very good. Pedrina, write your answer in the chat. Let me see, Pedrina. ¿Qué le escribió, creo yo? Oh, no. Escribe su respuesta, Pedrina, en el chat. Now, I want to show you something. Right, I want to show you something that we need to see. Ya vi que no nos podemos los números en inglés, so let's see that. Okay, very quick, vamos a practicar los nombres. Los, los numbers, numbers, numbers. And let me see what Pedrina says. Pedrina says, my name is Ileana Gomez. My mom's name is Maria. She is 63 years old. My father's name is Juan. He is 17 years old. Okay. Pedrina, use capital letters. Utilice mayúsculas al inicio de la oración. Utilice el apóstrofe. Okay. Son cosas bien importantes. Mayúscula al inicio y usemos el apóstrofe porque los ejercicios de las tareas que van a realizar llevan apóstrofes y llevan mayúsculas. Y si no se las ponen, se los va a poner mal. Okay. Now, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. So we're yes. going to do this practice very quickly and very, very easy practice that we're going to do, right? We have the first 10 numbers here, right here, from one to 10. Listen to the pronunciation, right? Listen to the pronunciation and we start, right? One, one. two, just listen, only listen, only listen. So let's watch it, okay? We're going okay. to start with the pronunciation, please. Okay, we go with one, two, three, four, five, seven,
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we go one, two, three, four, five. Please repeat, Francis, the first five numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Angie, repeat. Yes, teacher. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Eight. Eight. No, listen. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. 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 Very good. Very good. Now, let's go with the next set of numbers. The next set of numbers here, right? We have these ones, right? Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now we go here with the numbers. Again, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Please repeat with me, Asalia. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, okay. 16. 13. 13. Okay. Escucha la diferencia entre decir 13 y 13. 13. Right? 14. 14. 15. 15. Very good. Very good. Now let's continue and listen to me, please, Leida. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Leida. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. Ok. Escuchen lo que están pronunciando. Ok. 16. Tiene que ser el subidito de tono ahí. 16. 17, 18, 19. Okay, one more time, Leida. 16, 17, 18, 19, eh, 20. 20. 20. 20. Very good. Very good. Here, here, I need you to pay attention because this number, 20, Many 20. people, many people will pronounce 20. Both, 20. both pronunciations are correct. 20, 20. Both are correct. Las dos están bien. No hay ninguna diferencia entre decir 20 y 20. Is that clear? Yes. Perdón, teacher, el 19 no es 19. Está aquí, le falta una 19. Espérenme. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Vamos a poner aquí. Nineteen. Aquí lo vamos a poner abajo. The correct spelling. Nineteen. Una L falta. Now, let's continue. Then after 20, we have very easy because we have 21, 22, 23, 24. Y se repiten. Right? Se repite. Then we go to 30. Right? 30. 15. 40. No 30. No. 30. Six. 30. 40. 50. 60. 70. Or 70. 80. 90. Right? 90. 100. Right? 100. Then we go 101, 102, 103. 
and the same. Cuando llegamos al 100 se repite todo. 101, 102, 103, 104, 111, 112, repetimos los mismos números. Quiere decir que si nosotros nos aprendemos hasta el 20, ya nos podemos los números, ¿ok? Si nos podemos hasta el 20, ya nos lo podemos, ¿ok? So, if we go with 30, right? What goes after 30? Eh, Ricardo, 30, 31, tell me the numbers. Ricardo. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40. Very good. Continue there, Emerson. 40. Emerson? 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Very good. Continue there, please. Let me see. Continue, Nancy. 50. 50. Get ready, Franco and Claudia. Nancy, 50. 50, 20, 50, 60. No, 50, 51, 51, 62, 63, 56, 54, 54, 56, 57. No, no me está haciendo jarana con los números. 54, 54, 56, 55. Se le está olvidando el 5. 55, Nancy. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 60. 60. Okay, thank you. Franco, 60. Franco Damián, 60. 61, 62, 63. Sí, estoy haciendo. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. 67, 68, 69, 70. Very good, very good. Remember, 70 or 70 is perfect. Okay? It's very good job, Franco. Claudia, 70? 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 80, very good. Gladys? Your microphone, Gladys. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 80, 10, eh, No, 89, 89, 89. 89. Después de 89, vamos con 90. 90, 90. Uh -huh. No hay 80, 10. No hay 80, okay. 10. 89. Nos movemos al 90. Very good. Then 91, 92, 93, 94, right? Then we have 100, 1,000, 1 million, right? And then we have a number that the people forgot here. This number, I'm going to put it here. This number is this one. Very easy. Zero. Pronunciation is zero. Right, zero. So when you say, my mom is 75 years old. My mom is 15 years old. No, that's not possible. Su mamá no puede tener 15. Right? My mom is 50, 50 years old. No se vayan a confundir entre estos números y estos números. ¿Ok? Todos los que son menores del 20 terminan en la terminación tin, 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 tin. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, right? The other ones are 30, 40, 60, 70, okay? Is that clear with the numbers? Yes? yes. Okay, yes. so please take a screenshot so you can have access to the numbers later on and you can yes. practice them. Take a screenshot. 
Yes, yes. teacher. Que okay, ya están las correcciones yes, ahí teacher. que le hicimos con Francis. Thank you, Francis. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to stop sharing here. And we continue here. Let me see the two chats. 19, hay error en escritura. Sí, señor, ya se lo corregimos. Okay, now we continue here with the next exercise. Now, in a department, right, in a company, we usually we have different departments, right? In a company, we have different departments. For example, where I work, I work at Inglés Corporativo, right? That's my, my workplace, Inglés Corporativo. In Inglés Corporativo, we have different departments. There is a teaching department, teacher's department, right? There is also human resources department. We have the management department, right? The administrators and so on, many, many departments. The technical department, technical support department, right? And in English, we are going to see some departments that may happen in your company. For example, we have here, number one, production, right? This could be the production department, okay? The production department. Now, the next, number two, it can be research and development. Research and development department. Purchasing department. Marketing department. Human resources management. Accounting and finance department, okay? Production department. Research and Development Department, Purchasing Department, Marketing Department, Human Resources Management, Accounting and Finance. We have five departments. Which of these departments happen in your company? Which of these departments do you have in your company? ¿Cuáles de esos departamentos tienen en sus compañías? Which of these departments do you have in your company? None? Number resource marketing teacher. Number three, okay, marketing two, number okay. Five. Number, number five. five. What is number, number five? five? Practice pronunciation. Number five. Practice pronunciation. Human resources human resource management. Resource management. management. Human resources management. Very good. Si no hay human resources, no trabajen ahí. Okay, human resources management. What's the other one? Yes. Marketing. Marketing. Okay, and another one? Six. Six. How do you say number six? Accounting, Accounting and, and finance. finance. Accounting and finance. Very good. Accounting, Accounting and, and finance. finance. Okay, what about production? You don't have production in your department, in your company? Yes, I have production. Yes. No. Okay, yes. okay. Franco and Ricardo said, yes, they have production. What about research and development? El Departamento de Desarrollo. Hmm? Research and development, no? No? Mm, yes. 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 Yes, right. Research and development. Okay, very good. Now, we have this. I need you to help me out with the pronunciation. Nelson? Please read one to six and then Emerson. Vamos a ver si practicamos la pronunciación. Production. Uh -huh. Research. Research and development. Uh -huh. Purchasing. 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 Marketing. Marketing. Human resource. Management, 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 management. Uh huh. In number six, account, account and finance, accounting and finance, accounting and finance. Very good, Emerson. Let's practice. 
production, research and develop, development, mm -hmm. purchasing, purchasing, marketing, mm -hmm. human resource management, mm -hmm. accounting and finance. Okay, now everyone, please listen. Thank you, Emerson. Listen to the pronunciation. Production. Okay, repeat. Production. 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 Very good. Number two. Research. Repeat. Research. Research. And development. And development. 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 Okay. Repeat. Purchasing. 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 El de compras, el de compras, departamento de compras. Purchasing department. Purchasing, Purchasing department. department. Human resources management. Human, Human resources management. management. Okay, resources. 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 Management. 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 Very good. Human. Accounting and finance. Accounting, Accounting and finance. And finance. Very good, excellent job, excellent job. Now, we have this pronunciation and we're going to practice. Antes que Claudia se duerma, vamos a practicar here with, with the vocabulary and we're going to match the vocabulary right here. We are going to decide, oh, okay, this is the answer to this. For example, if I want to put here, Oh, production. I think production is keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Is that correct? No. Maybe. No. You say no. no, maybe, I don't know, right now, right? But what we're going to do is that instead of doing the tripachuca, que acabo de hacer, no hagamos tripachuca, vamos a poner el numerito aquí, okay? One. Two, three. Estas no son respuestas, estas son inventados, solo para darles ejemplo, okay? One, two, three, and then we match them, we connect them, and we give the answers. Now, this exercise is in your book, right? It's on your book, so I need you to please go the ahead place. and look at your book right now. Give me a moment, I will give you in which page is it? Page 29. What? One. Page 29. Page 29, okay, very good, thank you. Go to page 29, thank you so much. Now, we are going to work in small groups right now to do this. Vamos a trabajar en equipos rapidito, especially I think we're gonna work in pairs. I think we're gonna work in pairs. See, oh yes, we are in groups of Eight, very good. Let's go ahead and work. I'm going to give you five minutes and then you give me the answers, okay? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Choose the groups. Trabajemos en parejas para que sea más rápido. Let's go. Choose your groups. Select your groups. Únase con ellos, Pedrina, y trabaje por chat. Únase ahorita con el equipo que le corresponde. Franco y Pedrina. Pedrina no puede trabajar, Franco, porque no le sirve el micrófono. Entonces, a usted lo voy a pasar con otro equipo y a Pedrina la voy a poner con alguien más para que trabajen, ¿ok? Voy a poner rapidito okay. acá. Lo voy a, eh, a agrupar en otro lugar. Entonces, para que se pongan a trabajar. Déjeme ver acá. Oye, sé dónde lo voy a mandar, señor Franco. Va a ayudarme a ese grupo. 
Y señorita Pedrina se me va a ir a escuchar al señor. Déjeme ver. Ok, al 5 la vamos a mandar. Se me va a ir con el grupo número 5, ok. Vámonos. Yo lo concuerdo con eso. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Ajá, ¿qué opinas de la primera? Yo creo que la, la seis, no sé. Research ¿Cuál? and number six, accounting and finances. No, okay. para Trate... mí es la cuatro. Uh -huh. La cuatro, marketing. Ajá, uh -huh. very good, Franco, very good. Tratemos, tratemos en este caso como es, es vocabulario nuevo, obviamente vocabulario nuevo, tratemos de compartir porque creen que es esa, ¿ok? Uh -huh. No solamente de uh -huh. dar las respuestas, tratemos de compartir why do you have that answer, ¿ok? Si, sabe, si uh -huh. le saben, ¿cuáles son las palabras que lo ayudaron a usted, Franco, a identificar que esa es la respuesta? Customer. Identify what customer want and need at the right place. Ok. Identifica qué cliente quiere uh -huh. y necesita en el lugar correcto. Ok. Ok, very good. Sigan trabajando, por favor. Okay. Pero compartiendo, ok. La okay? siguiente, <laughs> siguiente copinas, Pamela. Yo ya la tengo, pero quiero ver qué opinas. <laughs> exactly, very I good. ¿Qué número? Eh, number Yo creo que sí es ese, porque el tercero sí le veo más como que es departamento de compras. Okay. Vamos a ver qué sale. La tres. Era la answer for, what, what's the answer for number three for purchasing? Uh -huh. What's the definition? Buy and. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es esa palabra? A acquire. 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 Acquiring raw materials. Very good. Sí. <laughs> <Justo esa. laughs> acquire. Acquire. <laughs> um, Number four, marketing, research and identifying what's customer. Creo que es la primera, Carito. ¿El qué? Eh, la de marketing. Creo ah. que es la primera. Research and identify what's customers. Once um, a meal at the right place. Marketing es compras. No, marketing es como promocionar, creo. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, to promote the, 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 the things in your company. Teacher, ¿y uh -huh. cuál era el departamento de compras? Purchasing. Buy, uh -huh, purchasing. Purchasing, ese es el de compra que le toca a la Angie. La Angie de Purchases, ¿verdad Angie? Ah, no, no sabes que la Angie, que está en la no, norma. Aquí no está Angie. Ay, qué locura. Pero sí, mm -hmm. ella es de compra. Pero entonces Purchase es la del final. Para buying mí sí. Theory, buying a theory, buying materials, production, ¿sí? Compra y adquirir mm -hmm. materiales, creo que dice. Sí. Producción, equipo, etcétera, para el uso de la organización. Mm -hmm. Para mí la cuatro es la que está la primerita. Recursos humanos. La cinco. La, la segunda. Sí. Number two. Acabamos yes. de practicar los números. Number two. Number two. Number two. 
E six is number three. Six according to the finance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Accounting finance. Accounting finance. Accounting no, finance. Is exactly, finish. accounting finance. Finish. Finish. Okay, <laughs> you finish. Very good. Ya vamos a ir a compartir la respuesta. You're going to be number one, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go, let's go, let's go with the others. Ya creo que ya pasaron. Sí, ya es tarde, ya es tarde. Vámonos, vámonos. Let's go, let's go. Hello. Okay. So we continue here with the practice right here. And I think we're going to check two or three because it's 954 already. Let's check. El vocabulario, el vocabulario técnico. Recuérdense, siempre que tenemos vocabulario técnico es un poco más difícil de lo normal. Okay? Because it's technical vocabulary, the pronunciation is very difficult. Right? It's very difficult to work with. So let's see. Let's start. We have number one, production. Emerson, what is production? No tengo el archivo a la mano, teacher. No, yo no le creo. Mm -hmm. Yo, teacher. Me he perdido. Teacher, I, okay. I, teacher, I. Who said, okay, Nelson. Know, Nelson, then Ricardo, and then Frank. Okay, Nelson, production. Okay, uh, production. Control and supervise the production workforce and inventors. And inventory. Okay, okay. Vamos a poner la respuesta como las, las que me están dando, okay? Después vamos a analizar si están bien. Number one, okay. Now let's go with Research and development, Ricardo. Okay. Uh, three, number two. Mm -hmm. Develop, design new or improvise existing, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa Existing. Palabra. Existing products or process. Develop, design, new, or improve existing products or processes. Okay. Let's put here. Okay. Improve. Improve significa mejorar. Okay. Research and development. Okay. Purchasing. Damian. Damián, Franco Damián Vázquez. No, I have Buy and acquire raw material, production, equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. Okay, very good, very good. Now we have here, listen to the pronunciation, everyone. Buy and acquire raw materials production equipment, et cetera, for the use of the organization. Okay, now let's do number four, which is marketing, Sandra. Marketing. Marketing, uh, research, research and identif identif mm -hmm. identif identify. Customer, one, and need and the right right place place very good okay research research and identify research and identify what customers want and need at the right place okay very good human resources management palma what do you have thank you uh Human. Human resources management. What is it? Uh, 
Repetition. Recruit selected I train new employees for that here in the company. Very good. Recruit, select and train new employees for the right job in the company, okay? And the last one is accounting and finance. Please read the definition, Leida. Read the definition here. Keep. Keep the financial record. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and the outflow. Very good. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows, salida y entradas, inflows and outflows. Okay, very good. Please try to keep a record of the answers. These are the correct answers. Estas son las respuestas correctas y sus compañeros acertaron en cada una de las respuestas. So very good job. Right, we have four, five, six, one, two, and three. Tomorrow we are going to practice with this. Practiquen la pronunciación, por favor, de cada una de ellas. Antes que se vayan, vamos a terminar acá. Antes que se vayan, I'm going to call the attendance. Right? Rapidito, vamos a llamar la asistencia. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Antes que se me vayan. Pincha solo como, como se dice en, en el que está el número 3 después de buy. Um, acquire. 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 Mañana vamos a, pr a practicar... Ahorita solo están las respuestas. Mañana practicamos bien la pronunciación de cada una. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente, teacher. Ok. Give me a moment. Tu, 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 tu. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Presente, teacher. Good night. Claudia Janet Ramos Hernández. Presente, teacher. David Ernesto Quintanilla Martínez. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present teacher. Eneida Yasmin Hernández Cruz. Francis Humberto Hernández Valle. Present teacher. Franco Damián Vázquez. Present teacher. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present teacher. Leida Azucena Sorto. Present. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. No, uno me voy. Nancy María Serrano Chacón. Nelson Brian Pereira Maravilla. Present teacher. Norma Carolina Mata de Chévez. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Como que hasta ahorita le sirve el micrófono, mire. No, Ricardo, <risa> Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. <risa> Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Ya la vi, Pedrina. Ella sola cayó. Uh -huh. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Buena táctica. Se acaba de ir el grillo. Daniel Antonio García Cortés. José Alfonso Palma. Está programado solamente por la asistencia. Ok, guys. So, don't forget to go to the, to go to the platform. Please, don't forget to go to the platform. Finish. Ya pasé la lista, Nancy. El este, no se olviden ir a la plataforma, hacer la tarea número 11, 11, la tarea 11 de esta semana. Y si pueden ir avanzando, esta semana tenemos que terminar todo a tiempo, recuérdense. I'll see you guys tomorrow and have a beautiful Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow, Good night. teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Nos vemos en el bye chat bye. si tienen alguna pregunta. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.